Hello friends, welcome to Suni Art. This is Suni. Today I want to share with you this very simple deco patch, a frosted glass effect deco patch. It's a very simple project on a glass or on a plastic bottle. Okay, what are the materials you needed for this class? It's a, a deco patch glue. All the materials I used from Suni Art, and also a mixed media deco patch varnish. A bottle, plastic or glass, deco patch paper, a scissor, okay, a scraper, and also a plastic sheet, transparent plastic sheet. Okay, so now I will teach you how to cut the paper. For deco patch, we need to cut the paper in very detail so that people cannot tell whether this is your painting or is deco patch. Okay, so a very good scissor is needed and is important. So to save your cutting time and also make your cutting much easier. So you have to cut in detail and don't leave the white color background. You can slightly cut into the paper but don't leave the white color. Have to cut according to the line in detail. Okay, just like that. Then this scissor is very good, I like to use. I have sold this, paper, this scissor a lot because it's really good for cutting the paper and like for example, this kind here, we have to cut in. So without this scissor, if you use a normal scissor, it's not sharp, the, the point here is not sharp enough. So cannot poke a hole like this. So this, like this scissor, I can poke a hole and cut also in detail inside the image here okay so every every detail we have to observe and cut nicely see okay so still have some white you have to cut also cut out also as you can see I have many scissors I like to use this one but scissor cannot drop. Once you drop, cannot be used anymore. Especially if you drop here. Okay. Then also, this scissor also a very good scissor. Same, just a slightly bigger. Okay. Then after we finish the cutting, now we start gluing. I don't do any ba base color. I don't do background color because I want to see to show the. Transparent frosted, the frosted glass effect. Let me finish this cutting first. Okay, so okay, here. Then, now why I have to apply this glue? I use this glue. the glue first I don't use brush I use a sponge a dauber why because a dauber won't create brush mark or else later you will see a lot of brush mark here that's why I like to use sponge just dab just dab the glue if you want to do under glass or you do glass decoupage on glass for the paper I suggest I personally like to use sponge okay I don't use brush because brush will see create a lot of brush mark later you will see it it's very obvious eh, eh, sorry I make mistake have to be at the back I thought I have to do under glass okay wait I just blow dry first okay I'm sorry because I forgot I thought I want to do an under glass so again uh, I use the the sponge, the, the dauber for the glue, just step at the back. Because a lot of students when they do under glass, they ask me, teacher, why I always have a brush mark? I can see the mark so clearly, so obviously because you are using the brush. So that's why I suggest them to try to use a sponge, then you will don't see so much brush mark. Okay, just step. Then after that, just lift up and put on the surface. Slowly glue on the positions you wish. Okay. Then after. 
after that, we put a plastic plastic sheet on top. We put the plastic on top and also a scraper. So the scraper is to remove the extra bubble. Smooth out, sorry, is to smooth out the extra bubble and also the wrinkles. So the plastic, uh, I like to put the plastic wrap because it won't tear easily. If you just use the scraper directly, then the paper might tear easily. Then lift up. You can clean. You can clean the extra glue, okay, with the wet tissue, with the wet tissue or a damp cloth. After clean. Then I will have to blow dry now. Let me blow dry first. After blow dry, the final step is uh, protect with one layer of mixed media varnish. Because this mixed media varnish is a gel kind. It's a kind of gel. So I don't use a brush because the brush will create the brush mark. I like to use the spun also to create the bling bling kind of effect. Just use the spun because the spun will create a different texture. The texture like this, the bling bling kind of texture. And this varnish is very good. It's waterproof after 48 hours. So you can wash it, normal wash after 48 hours. Not encouraged to soak into the water. Okay, just normal wash. Just dab lightly. Okay, do not no need to dab too thick layer, just a thin layer all over the bottle. Then you will create this, this effect and be very gentle. If you, you press too hard, you won't see the texture. Also, you have to do it lightly or else you will see the edges of the spun, the mark of the spun, just like this, you see, just like, 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 like this, not nice. That's why you need to let it blend in. You have to dab it gently and slowly. Make sure it's even. Then blow dry with the hair dryer. And this one is a plastic bottle. It's not glass. So when you blow dry, you must be careful. You don't, you don't face it too long or you blow too long because plastic will melt okay so maybe you have to move the hair dryer and maybe you put some distance when you uh, when you blow okay just like that then blow dry done it's a very very simple project what you need is only a dab normal decoupage glue and this mixed media varnish with a very nice effect it can be washed after 48 hours okay i just show you washing water okay just normal wash don't soak it won't come out you see the paper will not come out okay so this is the project for today Hope you like my project. Thank you for watching.